Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about different ELCB sensitivity rating for different load as per Diva regulation. So let's start this video. In Diva regulation, there is one appendix and the number of that appendix is appendix 10. In that appendix, Diva has given for different types of load what should be the ELCB sensitivity rating. So we will discuss in this topic for different load what should be the ELCB sensitivity rating as per Diva regulation. So as per this appendix number 10, Diva says that for 13 ampere switch socket outlet the ELCB sensitivity rating to be 30 milli ampere. What does it mean? As we know well in home we have single phase 13 ampere switch socket outlet okay and it will be controlled by one ELCB so that ELCB rating must be having 30 milli ampere in same way for water heater cooler and dishwasher the sensitivity rating to be 30 milli ampere for refrigerator washing machine and similar appliances the sensitivity rating must be 30 milli ampere for domestic water pump the sensitivity rating to be 30 milli ampere for jacuzzi pump the sensitivity rating for the ELCB should be 10 milli ampere here I will highlight one important point that any appliances or load which human touch in daily life that appliances should have a lesser sensitivity rating for the ELCB why because if the ELCB sensitivity rating is lesser then it will be more safer for the human to touch that is the reason you can see that 13 ampere socket water heater refrigerator and domestic pump are having 30 milli ampere sensitivity rating and suppose if human hand or uh, body is wet okay that time the human resistance or human body resistance will be more lesser in that case the more less uh, sensitivity rating elcb is required in that case you will see the underwater light like in swimming pool the sensitivity rating must be 10 milli ampere jacuzzi pump okay so that jacuzzi pump elcb rating must be 10 milli ampere why because human are in physical touch of this underwater light or jacuzzi pump such loaded such loads are in the wet condition so the resistance of human body will be more or less compared to dry condition so the sensitivity rating for the elcb also will be less for such load hope you are clear in same way for 15 ampere switch socket outlet the sensitivity rating to be 30 milli ampere for general light it should be 30 milli ampere and 100 milli ampere why it is like so suppose the light is in bedroom or in the dry area then we can go for a light which fed from a ELCB of sensitivity rating 100 milli ampere but suppose same light is used in the bathroom or in jacuzzi or any steam room then we have to go for that light 30 milli ampere sensitivity rating in same way for flood light we can go for 100 milli ampere and 300 milli ampere ELCB rating for window and split AC a, the ELCB rating must be 100 milli ampere for foreign coil unit or air handling unit it should be 10 100 milli ampere for package unit it will be 100 milli ampere or 300 milli ampere for chiller it should be 100 milli ampere or 500 milli ampere or 1000 milli ampere for the irrigation pump it will be 100 milli ampere electric cooker 100 milli ampere industrial machine 100 or 30 milli ampere elevator escalator it should be 300 to 500 milli ampere neon sign 300 milli ampere here you notice that some of the load have higher elcb rating like chiller which have the milli ampere rating for the elcb 100 to 1000 milli ampere for elevator and escalator it is 300 to 500 milli ampere as you know well the chiller is the bigger load it is in 100 kilowatt 200 kilowatt 1000 kilowatt in same way the elevator and accelerator also considered as a bigger load industrial machines also considered as a bigger load so in the bigger load the leakage will be very obvious and if due to if we selected a 10 milli ampere elcb for a chiller of 1000 ampere then that leakage in the chiller is obvious and due to this leakage of 10 milli ampere chiller will trip so this is nuisance tripping so, and we cannot afford chiller to trip due to 10 milli ampere of leakage that is the reason some of the bigger bigger load have 
टू बी कनेक्टेड विथ ए ई एल सी बी रेटिंग ऑफ हंड्रेड मिली एम्पियर और फाइव हंड्रेड मिली एम्पियर और थाउजेंड मिली एम्पियर इन सेम वे फॉर एक्सकेलेटर एंड एलिवेटर्स फॉर इंडस्ट्रियल मशीन सम लोड्स लाइक फायर पम्प्स एंड ऑल दिस इफ देर विल बी ए स्मॉल लीकेज इट विल ट्रिप द मोटर इट विल ट्रिप द फायर पम्प ड्यूरिंग द फायर कंडीशन इट विल बिकम डिजास्टर वाई बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग फायर दिस स्मॉल लीकेज ऑफ करेंट विल नॉट बी दैट मच सीरियस एज द फायर एग्जिस्ट इन दैट वे इन फॉर सच टाइप ऑफ लोड वॉट दीवा सेज दीवा सेज दैट फॉर सच लोड लाइक फायर पम्प जॉकी पम्प ओके देर शुड बी इन एन अलार्म सिस्टम ओके देर शुड बी ए सुटेबल अर्थ लीकेज डिटेक्शन सिस्टम विथ अलार्म सो इफ देर विल बी अ लीकेज इट विल गिव अलार्म बट इट विल नॉट दट इट विल नॉट ट्रिप द सिस्टम वाई बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग फायर इफ ड्यू टू स्मॉल लीकेज देर विल बी अ ट्रिप फॉर द फायर पम्प इट विल लीड टू अ बिग डिजास्टर Hope you are clear with that. So Diva selected the ELCB rating for different type of load very sensibly. He Diva knows that which type of load should be safe for which when it is connected to which ELCB rating. So remember these all points. What I said in general conceptually, the load which is connected directly in touch with the human being, it should have a lesser ELCB rating. And if such if any load which is in contact with the human body during the human body is wet condition that time it's required more lesser elcb rating for the larger equipment it can go till 1000 milliampere why because the load is very heavy the load rating is around 1000 1000 kilowatt so 10 milliampere 20 milliampere leakage is very obvious so due to that leakage if the full system will trip down or shut down it is not good it is called nuisance tripping in order to avoid that one diva selected for bigger load a high little higher elcb rating hope you understood this video and the concept behind selecting the elcb rating for different load as per diva regulation if you really like this video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much